recording in progress so we can start now yeah uh, good afternoon uh, sincere thanks to agreeinformation.com in fact uh, i just got the message and uh, why i accepted this topic was in the morning i had a webinar on the same topic it was creating uh, business opportunities for women and uh, it was a webinar of manage and then i said why not we speak about this in a slightly different context so now today's uh, webinar questions are going to be two three fold see whether the gender and sex are same no see somebody is born as a woman somebody is born as a man that is by the birth but the gender is the roles assigned uh, by the society that okay women will do cooking and uh, of course obviously child care and child birth she is uh, because she is closer with that and she is going to do it but now today the stereotypic behavior of a woman are have all changed see if uh, avni chaturvedi can drive the rafal jet okay she is a air force fighter pilot so earlier i don't think even uh, women were allowed to do a cycling or drive a vehicle see all those stereotypes have been changed so we are not saying it was a male dominated society but we are telling that uh, that's how the society was uh, like when uh, dr barnett says innovation the basis of cultural change so that means when innovations have come into picture so why the role should uh, not be taken by the other gender see today you have a pressure cooker you have an activa scooter you have a computer you have a mobile phone there is no nothing like that uh, only the men have to use it and uh, women uh, need not use it because she can't so all those stereotypic things have all gone so today we are going into one more domain whether in agri or horticulture or in general how are, how is that the why the women labor is preferred see even in agriculture okay very quickly i am going one by one so uh, this is all about uh, things uh, uh, basic things okay see now even today in agriculture we say that 73.2% are engaged in farming okay so women grow as much as 80% of india's food then 75% are full time workers on indian farms so they work about 3300 hours vis a vis 1860 hours their male counterpart they are working so hard uh, but still you know if you go to the rural areas the women labor is paid 200 the men labor is uh, paid 300 to 500 so i was asking this brilliant question sir why are you paying less then you know people say no 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 a man can do more work he can lift higher objects and all that see now if you take all our drivers and uber drivers most of them are men i don't know whether women cannot do it okay we'll see quickly cut out all that so out of 263 million agriculture worker 37 about 98 million are women So, to, but only 12.8 women own land, but 11.72 of the total operated by them. See, except Mizoram, Kerala, and some of the things where you have the matriarchal families, so they don't own land. But now we know the land reforms and things have all changed, and even they are uh, equally getting the property. And why should their family not be around the uh, woman? Why, why should uh, only the male inherit and uh, she will be a subsidiary? These are some of the questions. Then. One third of female farmers in India are unpaid. See, normally you know how a labor uh, opportunity in a village is that um, a husband and wife, okay, as laborers, they have a contract with a big farmer or whatever farmer. They say that you pay thirty-five thousand rupees, and uh, whenever you want the labor, the husband and wife is standing at your doorstep. This is how in uh, our six lakh forty-eight thousand villages in uh, rural India, this is how it works. so then you will ask another question whether they will take many 35000 rupees yes they would have taken not less than 35 into about four five fellows they would have taken the same 35000 so that amounts to almost about one and a half lakhs they would have collected in advance so whenever those uh, particular four uh, people who have engaged in them call them they will come but obviously like cinema stars they cannot give the same date and time because the call sheet is going to clash So they will somehow see that they work. Then the women share in agriculture wages employment only 17 percent more dependence on agriculture because of lot of mechanization. Now this is how it comes. See now, 
We say that gender is only a role asset. See, now why they cannot do entrepreneurial activities? See, I was doing a lot of research, and then to my utter dismay, uh, you know, women do uh, sowing, transplanting, harvesting, weeding. These four operations are done by women, whereas the plowing operation, land preparation is done by man, and the marketing activity is done by man. This was the one which really surprised me, and then uh, we started working further on that, and of course. Lot of literature also you do find. So now, suppose you take fisheries. I was uh, I was I was working with my student Dr. Johnson. That was somewhere in Mandapam camp. See, normally many of you do not know that in marine fisheries, uh, two o'clock in the midnight, the catamarans, you know, our uh, fishery fellows go into the sea. You know, very risky <laughs> things. And uh, midnight two o'clock to early morning six, they catch a lot of fish. and then you know the marketing of fish is all done by women for your kind information and then you know there is a heavy competition because normally fisher who a man has two wives or something so somehow he has to be lured and uh, that the entire fish catch has to be distributed uh, equally among the two wives so he is given a very heavy meal liquor and all that in the early morning and then the marketing of fish starts so here in in a fishery example okay the Males are the one who go inside the sea, but uh, the marketing of fish in the Mandapam camp or in Kanyakumari, whatever, is done by the females. So this is how the gender, that socially constructed, uh, the culture which has assigned the job, is called as gender. Biologically, somebody is born as a boy or girl, that remains unchanged. So now, when we bring the gender awareness, see, you can yourself cut a cross and say that why business cannot be done by females. See now in the entire agriculture, I told the fisherman example. See why is that the all the women do marketing, but the money is kept with the man because the always the man says, "Arey boy, I have gone to the uh, sea, I have or I have uh, caught the fish, or otherwise I ha- I am the owner of the land, therefore uh, I should get the money." So, but today things have all changed. Even women are becoming owners; they also collect rents. All those things are there. Okay, now. When I say gender sensitivity, okay, it is how best we can make them as entrepreneurs, and what are the business opportunities for them. So we build gender and build. So when we say that, uh, what is the gender lens? So we say that you know, you should view every work. Suppose I employ some uh, ten women. You know, the menstrual holidays in the workplace. There's already there in MG Narega child care facilities for women. All those things are seen from the gender lens and the. uh stereo gender stereotypes okay we need not assign the character arbitrarily but whereas we can say that uh, you know men men are earning members and they do marketing that but women will do only household activities so she will dependent on the money so these stereotypes have gone i'll just tell you so even today if you go to any area people say i need a male child i don't want a female child but anyway i have a daughter and i really love daughters so i'm very happy with it okay so now that is the gender discrimination so now you know in uh, women were banned from entering the religious institutions obviously i need not go into the detail for obvious reasons they were not allowed but definitely no, not so in the entrepreneurial uh, uh, canvas where uh, indra nu is the ceo of pepsi and then kotak mahindra ceo is a woman uh, avni chaturvedi is our fighter pilot of the indian air force so many such uh, roles have all gone so today even uh, women men everybody drive the cars uh, activa is a very common thing so gender equality is so supposed to do a software work so where is the question of male female people say that the females are better in the workplace so therefore the, the equal distribution of uh, land credit should take place so all these things we have discussed and even the dress also so earlier they said the uh, women will wear uh, lehengas and men will wear the pants but now those things have all gone so uh, the business models in hathi are agri uh, start up stand up among women farmers see now look at this uh, i think um, dan lakshmi will be very happy see uh, the most of the women entrepreneurs they come from tamil nadu almost 13.5% in fact i have an entrepreneur start up group uh, where i keep communicating with them and uh, Kerala, although the women are very educated, but the entrepreneurs are only 11%. So Karnataka is still uh, behind. 
she with all so many it bt java python cobra only 6.78 percent are entrepreneurs maharashtra is uh, staggering at 8.25 and the next uh, 8.3 is west bengal so even here what i'm saying is tamil nadu is much much ahead in when it comes to women entrepreneurship is concerned oh my god you know they make all these herbal products herbal uh, cosmetics oh beautiful and handicrafts brilliant brilliant i will show you one by one examples so now very quickly we take a, a call and we say that the traditional gender role that the man works and woman takes care of children has gone of course see who will take a suppose you know in a house a father mother is there i cannot say my daughter that uh, she should not go with mother and all that she keeps going with the mother she will feed her and when she wants some uh, cock and bull story she comes with me so that is how the roles are distributed in the egalitarian uh, families man and woman are equal in everything i see all this uh, between the software engineer because the ema is paid uh, equally among both and uh, now the transitional thing is even today people think that a man's work is a breadwinner woman can work if she wants to see that means many times i ask i you know there were we have 356 people in my flat so i was asking one couple who pays the emi so the girl told sir we both are software engineers but emi is paid by my husband i said why he said no sir uh, he has married me and uh, it is his responsibility to run the family and uh, still i have traditional roles i take the child care i cook and all that so my salary is for me and uh, i want to spend uh, the way i want so now in women in business see uh, very important we are coming now to the topic all labor intensive manual operations in agriculture okay see look at cattle management fodder collection milking threshing we know of course milking is done by man because i don't know whether the cow or the buffalo kicks the woman i don't know threshing we know they are all performed by women now and i told you even weeding operation harvesting but the land preparation is done by man so you know we used to write what is called as the gender disaggregated seasonal calendar january to december across crops and uh, the various operations they do that is called as a gender disaggregated seasonal calendar uh, kindly take take care of my english word disaggregation is different discrimination is different okay so now when we do all these things see some of this uh, important agro based uh, uh, women opportunities okay this food preparing and processing ready made food packed food then uh, making fruits and vegetable baby foods processing <coughs> ice cream making then convenience food cold drinks traditional medicine preparation these are all jobs of women business opportunities of women lijat papad you already know then pickle industry okay it is the what is it uh, the mambalam pickles or there was one more bedekar pickles especially maharashtra entrepreneurs bedekar pickles nimbalkar pickles all those things are there ready made garments i told you especially lambada tanda soliga tribes uti okay uh, so the women only make all those dresses see i think there was a movie called sui dhaga i think must have seen where uh, uh what's her name uh, anushka sharma and then we had that varun dhawan in the lead actually you know uh, the reliance industry in that movie was uh, had put a competition to make traditional uh, ethnic dress wear so that they wanted to market it outside and all that and this couple wins the competition and then they are given a license and a contract to uh, prepare all this uh, ethnic apparel for some years and that's how it takes up obviously food industry okay it is the mtr or it is the one minute hey eh? so all these things are women based you know there used to be an iyer mess very near my house even today you know the you must in chennai or something you must see so many iyer uh, mess and hotels all parties run the uh, mess and you know uh, excellent idli and then you have food so these are all women based women opportunities see in odisha the tribal women you know collect this particular uh, siali leaf and make plates out of it and then uh, plate making in case of um, areka leaves areka that uh, calyx and all that is a very famous thing uh, okay then finally uh, plate making all this cup making they are all uh, organic things which are been made by women then you know 
There was also a Kisan Expo 24 very recently, 16 and 17 at High Tech Hyderabad. So they told uh, how to make chemical free food. So this is again the domain of women. In the Kisan Expo, they were making thalis and uh, they claimed that if you want to make chemical free food, these are the methods. Then obviously there are uh, Flipkart and Walmart, you know, they come out with uh, women incubation programs and uh, awareness uh, boot camps. Okay, it's called the Walmart Ruddi program. So I've given the number, you can get it. There's an expert advisory, market facilitation, self-paced learning, peer learning networks and so on. See, now there's one Krishi Kishkinda Trust. This is very near Mantralayam. Okay, where a uh, lot of banana, banana fiber and banana waste is available. So now it's all of a total, Kishkinda Trust is totally a woman-based entrepreneurship. They have prepared so many products. Look at this. All these are made by banana fiber. I think you have uh, even that um, the Nachalur uh, Trust very near Trichy where our NRC banana is there. There also they come out with a lot of such uh, byproducts. Uh, so these are some of the things. Yeah. So now we'll quickly go ahead. Then Samriddhi organic menus are also made uh, by women, packed it, even our Garka cocoa peat and you know decomposer and many things. I see we have about uh, 300 incubators in IHR, half of them are women. They do these things, even microbial culture. So at any level, need not be only farmers. See, one of our uh, uh, Arka Microbial Consortium incubators, she's a woman, she's a PhD in microbiology. So that's how it works. And then, you know, this uh, spices, this uh, MDH masala and Everest is banned because, you know, a lot of uh, contamination with pesticides and so many other things, including, uh, you know, the husk of uh, wood, wood husk and many things were available. So all these things can be taken by small, small entrepreneurs and uh, startups and women are going to be the leaders here. Then these biodegradable uh, dustbins and bags. You know, in fact, this comes from Tamil Nadu, actually. I'll give you the address. It's somewhere near Salem. They make these biodegradable bags with uh, maize uh, floor. Oh, my God. And, uh, very highly biodegradable and beautiful bags. I had a lot of samples here. I'll give you the address next time. I'll share it with Dhanlakshmi if you don't mind. You know, that, uh, that is an entrepreneur who, it's a woman entrepreneur who makes this. Okay, so now, uh, you know, this is again coming from Tamil Nadu, very important. You know, Tamil Nadu has a lot of this uh, palm palm trees and uh, this Tartiningu, you know, Tartiningu, Palmyra palm. They make this uh, palm jaggery powder, a very important uh, thing. They say it is uh, having very low glycemic index. It has a lot of natural antioxidants, non-acidic. It's a natural probiotic. It strengthens your bones. So all these things are there. For kids separately, it is there. Uh, again, enriched with vitamins and all that. These are all done by women uh, entrepreneurs. I wish to again reiterate here. And they neatly pack it with 60 sachets. Fantastic. All done by women. And then, you know, many of, there are, uh, you know, many of my entrepreneurial group, uh, women, they... They have this omnivore social, they want to, lot of uh, seminars, networking. All these things are actually going on as on date. There is no men, even for exclusively women, there are uh, certain programs. Then hands-on training in fruit and vegetable powders, uh, AHR gives. We give it only for women. And then this natural loofah, we say tenderness in personal body care. You know, you use this particular sponge, you know, when you take bath. We are uh, right now using this plastic fiber. But this natural loofah is made by sponge god. Okay, it's highly eco-friendly, sustainable, and an option for nylon. Okay, soft and gentle, and it does not uh, create any bruises for you. So these are all some of the all women-based industry. I've given you this uh, entrepreneur, Gauri. Her uh, mobile number is there. It operates from Indus Collections at Pune. You can call them and check out. Biodegradable, I told, I told women entrepreneurs. See, look at this uh, Khadi village... Uh, Commission training program, totally woman based. <laughs> Look at the, uh, how the palm leaf article making one month, okay, just very palm good making four months, quite a complicated process. Tailoring and embroidery for women, hand paper conversion, bakery course, of course, fruits, vegetable processing, we already told, sweets and savory making. You know, you have the Tirinal Valley Halwa, it's all sold in the 
things. We used to call it as Bombay halwa, but Tirunelveli halwa is also thin. Chocolate making, we make it with uh, chocolate. That is the um, jackfruit seed is converted into uh, herbal product making. I think again here, Tamil Nadu is a leader. Uh, there was one uh, entrepreneur, I forgot her name, some Kavya or whatever. So she makes all herbal cosmetics. No chemical, even herbal lipstick. See, otherwise normal lipstick, you put your uh, uh, lips will scorch and burn. So then obviously we have embroidery or uh, just like Pochampalli saris and, you know, Lepakshi art, whatever. So imitation jewelry making only for women, five days. So, you know, some of the imitation jewelry really look like diamonds. So we used to say that all that glitters is not gold and all that shines is not diamonds either. So then we have this embroidery only for women, two weeks course. Then beautician course, why our rural women or anybody should not uh, have this beautician thing. Chamki work, then, uh, you know, we have this uh, chicken work for that Lucknow saris. See, now the sanitary napkin training, believe it, this is a revolution. There was a movie called Padman, you know, where uh, the... Sanitary issues of women on the menstrual cycle was uh, studied and all that. And it is a very big awareness thing. Now, don't think only money making. See, if a pad is sold at 2 rupees, whether you purchase a napkin for about 15 rupees, the urban one, whether the rural women don't need it, they need it. So it is both a social cause as well as an entrepreneurial business opportunity. Then bakery training is another thing. Okay, coming from... Uh, Kadian Village Commission, uh, we have this Karachi biscuit, Jira biscuit, all those things have been made. Then uh, fermented products, Bombay bun and things like that. So all these are uh, opportunities for women. So not only the training program, but the next level is how do they write their DPR and then how are they going to uh, do all that. There is a lot of hand-holding as well. And I told you this cosmetic uh, natural body products. We told you all herbal cosmetics. So a lot of agri startups, they source, um, especially way cool. You know, Big Hat is a supply chain company. Many of my students work here. Recently, I put uh, my student Shweta Navada is there. Then there's one Sachin also. He's my student. He's there. So many of these uh, companies are going to source the products from women entrepreneurs. And uh, especially today, we have the Women FP was farmer producer organization. And the CBB was the cluster-based business organization. So they are going to actually uh, supply to these big markets and then that is how we are going to get it. So now, gentlemen, uh, two questions I would like to ask the audience at this time. See, the stereotypic roles have all gone. Stereotypic role that man only has to do is he has just vanished. So that no longer exists. So they have all gone. So very quickly we are going. So now there was a projection for 2024. You know, now all the women will really okay, rise to the occasion. It says that women in the foot will be in the spotlight in 2024. Women will play a pivotal role. See, now Tamil Nadu has got this Anna Sambar or whatever ethnic cuisine. We have Ragi Mudde. We have so many different things. See, but who are going to do this uh, ethnic uh, cuisines, uh, ethnic culinary skills? You know, many... Uh, People, you know, unless you are a Kerala, you don't know how to do potto, for example. Or, you know, even non-veg preparation. Okay, the, what is it? Uh, the Chettinad, uh, what is it? That non-veg preparation is totally uh, different compared to things. So, we have definite uh, Chettinad hotel. So, we used to say Naidu military hotel. So, like that, women will be in the food in the spotlight. So, we have already told you this one. And then, um, look at how just by spice packing, Okay, making masalas and chutneys, uh, people have uh, got opportunity, they're earning a lot of money. Then uh, mango, then handicrafts. Mango, simple grading, don't do anything. Simple grading, and you know, we treat it with the ethyl in IHR. What we do is we have this, uh, you take any ethyl liquid formulation, you put all the crates like that, what you're seeing on the visual. Simply ripen it, don't put calcium carbide, don't smoke it and all that. That's all a lousy way of ripening uh, mangoes. Ethyl is the best. So similarly, all handicrafts, women, you see, wherever you go, women are there. 
okay handicraft banana tailoring pot making all those things are there okay the opportunity is that how to show a remarkable shift from small entrepreneurs to big startup see now this is the million dollar question what we are uh, we want agree information dot com to spread our message see you are a small fish now see now you have to aggregate all the small fish you have to federate at a taluk or a district level you come together you know you also share your knowledge expertise you share your supply chain share your value chains federate it and establish a good uh, supply chain and market chain so that you know you will not be exploited by those uh, big houses see otherwise you simply produce and don't do the entrepreneurial activity and market it you are nowhere see lijjat papad was a small time you know cottage industry which has emerged and now it is a big brand so we like that we have this wag bakri chai a small time business the balaji foods and namkins see everybody not become frito lays uh, things see i don't agree with this so all the women entrepreneurs can come together federate and uh, integrate among yourself establish all this marketing value chains and that is the way forward for the business simply not producing again and going into the hand of the some big aggregator and uh, middleman and uh, getting exploited so this is how we go ahead so a lot of other uh, things uh, may see here again uh, i divide into the rural area agri hoti base and the urban one in urban one today you know you come near my house lot of paying guest centers beauty parlors then the recreation centers are coming out as opportunities crush crushes uh, run by women darshinis you know cyber cafes okay trading in computer stationery computer maintenance don't think they are all only things and even assemblies of electronic products in taiwan for example the sea gate hard disk is done in a cottage in this women do it all your pen drives are uh, made by them so therefore gentlemen all those uh, stereotypes have gone then nutrition clubs in schools and office for example i have an rkby project to run the arka nutri garden for augmenting mid day meal scheme program so there you know a school typically has got 300 uh, students 8th 9th and 10th and mid day meal scheme is given by the government and then uh, they have to produce at least about 45 kilos of vegetables per day to augment the program one minute i am getting a call hello heli yeah ah yes sir oh yeah yeah sir yeah ah other I'll, i'll just get back sir no no other are you run i think my wp sent it i'll correct it and send sir ah Well, the funding source are managed. I only is giving the fund. I'll work it, sir. Now correct, Martin, sir. I'll do. Ah, yes, sir. Now Martin, I will do it. Sir. Sorry, please. So therefore, health club, screen printing, all those things are done. Especially communication, STD booths. You know, there is a lot of uh, uh, reservation given. So then, mini laundry, all these things are there. So therefore, gentlemen, I was telling about this RKB way project where we require forty-five kilos of vegetables for the school to run the midday meal scheme, and that forty-five kilos of vegetables are grown by the students and they are effectively maintained by the mothers of those children. Okay, in in and around schools, we are given them grow bags, technology where uh, not of drudgery is not there, unlike uh, land-based cultivation. So all these things are done by women. so now we see in the semi urban areas i told you ready made garments are given example instant food products see nowadays who will put pickle at home by i don't know nobody is putting we buy it community kitchens are there so you have chettinar food you have ayer food you have naidu food and so on you have got wale mane hesar gatta wale halli mane so these community kitchens are nothing but hotels highly specialized so now who will bring that ethnic cuisine how do you know that uh, Uh, gouda mess or uh, uh, gouda hotel so different community kitchens are existing then uh, women also run training and coaching class okay nursery class basket making embroidery all these things baby sitting is a very very sought after in urban areas you will get lot of money so now some of the programs to promote women entrepreneurship we have rashtriya mein mahila coach okay a step was there support of training and employment then uh, women development in uh, 
children in the corporation scheme priyadarshini yojana sri shakti so there are so many such things what i wish to say is today if there is a will there is a way if you want to do it there is a funding agency so don't think there is no support available today the ecosystem is available for women but what is missing is the motivation okay the hand holding and a little push so which we do it they can also enter the mainstream so then uh, we have a lot of uh, financials and opportunities and all that i think uh, uh, ma'am uh, my time is up or should i continue Uh, you can take another five to ten, five to ten minutes. Yeah, okay. I'm just there. Yeah. So similarly, now, now I will come to the last but not the least point. There are three types of handholding. See, one is a financial handholding. The other one is a technical backstopping. We said these are the correct words you should get. And the third is the market linkage. See, for example, you have got the RCT, okay, Rural Self Employment Training Institute. so they they are having this three pronged approach see one is the training part the other one is the hand holding part the third is the market linkage part with buy back and all those things so these are especially organized for women and you can take note of this today an entrepreneur or a woman entrepreneur is not left to the market forces and it is not a very barbaric agri entrepreneurship system today it is a very highly effective system but only you should have the will to work and take a little risk and the moment you do that all the other actors are going to come see now it is something like uh, creating a movie you have a very fantastic story and then you stand uh, near chennai or in uh, uh, tollywood or bollywood or kaliwood i am telling if your story is damn good i can tell you you will get the finance in 10 minutes a director is behind you and even the star cast you know all the cinema stars search for roles you need not telephone to them simply they should say that punnagai mannan one more one story i am having or you know kabali story i have i am the writer of kabali so everybody knows that that will be done by rajnikanth and he will telephone to you if your story is good similarly the women entrepreneurs if you have a bright idea if you have a workable idea if you have got a feasibility idea okay people will come and it can be done so there are so many other agencies so we will quickly go this is the last slide what are the challenges for women entrepreneurs so this is a million dollar question i was again saying the funding issues okay because most of the assets are with men so 86% are more likely to get secure investment so but now you know without collateral also there are so many things given then there is always a social bias that means the social stigma eh nee or pambala enna dai theriya unakku naada i will do you be there at home vyabharam naada pannuve you need not do it so that is the social bias a small sort of social stigma then the third thing is the lack of access to professional network you see now i am a scientist i have a scientist group i have a information i am i am a administrator and uh, active member in about 10 15 uh, professional network groups so don't think that i am a super intelligent fellow and uh, the moment uh, agri information come calls me that you know i am a big shot bullshit i am a very ordinary man but i, I but i get a lot of cross pollination of ideas and you know uh, somewhere i'll be delivering a lecture somewhere some idea has come up in one, one whatsapp group so therefore very quickly i can respond whether it is agreeinformation.com or anyone i can quickly take a lecture because i am professionally networked but over 45% of small business over they don't have network and especially among the business class you know these are all business ideas if i have 100 customers if i network with you i'll have to share my customer database which i am not interested and in case of women because these are all male dominated space and all the vyabharam ella you know uh once that uh, there is a saying in tamil what is it vyaparam panna pro dharmam paaka kudadu dharmam panna panna pro vyaparam paaka kudadu so when you are saying vyaparam who will share all the customer database and unna business kurtudu via you will never give it so the, the fourth one is the limited mobility people uh, you know when i see when i travel many times i see only the men business fellows are traveling 
I hardly saw any women entrepreneurs traveling. It's okay. So uh, things are not so bad. <laughs> This will improve. But the only thing is the ecosystem is in place. The technology is in place. The financial institution is in place. But uh, I, I can still tell that, like I showed you the India map, Tamil Nadu is the leader, followed by other states. Uh, I think uh, we should uh, go back. I'll show you that uh, map and conclude for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, here it is. See, now we'll very quickly conclude. Why is that uh, some of these western and southern states are picked up, whereas Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, UP, see, these are all still male-dominated societies. Of course, these are all disturbed areas. And here, you know, not only the education and motivation. See, it is only the southern part and the western part where the women empowerments are very high and uh, they have taken advantage of the ecosystem. Although the ecosystem exists here, uh you know still it is uh, yet to pick up because uh, without establishing supply chain value chain and without marketing networks uh, they will lose thank you very much and uh, i think i'll stop at this uh, stage and uh, so i think we should do it yeah so i will stop sharing Thank you, sir, for the detailed presentation. I will quickly take up some questions. Yeah. I stopped sharing. Yeah, I hope. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, please ask questions. See, these are all learning opportunities, even for me. Don't think, you know, we are authorities and then we can... See, when we take a class or a session, we it's only cross-pollinating of ideas with agri information and all of you. See, and this is how... And now the next question you should be asking and I should be... taking the lead is what is the way forward where how do we approach madhya pradesh haryana uttar pradesh and bihar so you know the so called the bimaru states okay bihar madhya pradesh and what is it rajasthan or uh, or kya bhai up ha boliye sir now it is open yeah okay okay so before i take up some questions let me check with mr brito first mr brito you would like to ask anything or any any comments from your side So Brito has been a good friend of mine. Yeah, he will ask. Okay, fine. Uh, Mr. Brito. Brito, please. Can you hear us? Okay, I think there is some issue. Okay. Uh, in the mean, next we will go to Miss Madhuri. Yeah. Miss Madhuri, you can unmute yourself or you can post in the chat box. Okay. Uh, let them check the issues. Anything yeah, at okay, the end. Yeah, In the meantime, I'll take up some questions. Yeah. So, what are the what are some key strategies for tapping into female consumer market? Okay. Now we are going to this. Uh, you are going to the consumers. See now. Yeah. Can Can you repeat the question, ma? Okay. One minute. what are what are some key strategies for tapping into female consumer market into female female acha okay, okay male and female okay, female okay, yeah. i got it see now if you take any you go to dmart you go to big basket see now you see in your own home who is the one who will be uh, asking for noodles so who is the one who will be asking for which set of rice so now all the products so the cosmetics the baby care products already they are uh, stratified like that so now whenever somebody books an order in big basket or in amazon or in flipkart whatever it is already you know i uh, like a course we took in iim ahmedabad so crm customer relationship management so already the customer relationship management categorizes the products the orders and then you will get a beautiful excel sheet saying that this is the purchase history of a particular consumer uh, both uh, disaggregated male female wise and these are going to be the demand trends and whether your demand is increasing over time or your demand has got some seasonality so if your demand is having some seasonality and let us say that people are consuming more of noodles in the month of uh, in the summer months they may consume more juice in the month of september so even such seasonalities are captured 
and then that is how they are going to be catered. See, I think most of the women desegregated female markets they do exit. They are all niche markets, and maybe you know some are more specialized market like the cosmetics or uh, apparel and things like that. See, otherwise the men market is only about liquor and cigarettes and <laughs> so on. So I think uh, men have a lesser choice when it comes to the market, but. Uh, like this this is how it's going to be done yeah okay i think joseph and or somebody has come. yes yeah yeah mr joseph yeah i see him there yeah mr joseph yes like can you hear me? anything yes yes we can hear you okay okay yeah sure so as usual a very uh, spirited uh, <laughs> session by dr jay raghavendra rao thank you sir yeah so nice yeah so you see uh, let me say that there is almost no job on earth that a man does that a woman cannot do absolutely and there are quite a few jobs that a woman can do which a man can never do so actually speaking yeah the woman is the stronger sex man is the weaker that has that has to be firstly it has to be accepted secondly particularly in indian agriculture not just now but even my grandfather's era and presently too right from sowing to not only harvesting even post harvesting every operation the woman's hand is there but yet she is second second citizen at home so that change over has to come seeing how the western world is moving so also we in india we should give priority to women particularly in the rural sectors of course in the urban sectors they are given but not to the extent it is we see in countries like uh, australia or europe or even americas so uh, what to, would you suggest for the women in in, in india particularly the rural, rural women women sir that within the next decade they should take over this sector yeah no no this is a very tricky question in the sense the women's yes. involvement is there as as he has rightly told the women's involvement is there but the bank account and the money sharing is not agreed do you agree with me sir absolutely absolutely yes, no no see now see, yeah. let us say the women are doing the work but they are doing i mean i am not saying the husband will not take care of the wife or he will not give money but the woman he, does not have the money power that means she does not have a bank account or yes. uh, at the most it's a joint account with the man and even yes. in agriculture operation the marketing is done by man he says hey ni ni or pambala ni enna di pore inge ukkar so he will go he will knock out all the money and i don't know whether he will give it so what the man says is unak enna kavala na da purushan na inge poi vandha na i will give you money i am looking at the house see this is the attitude but we are aiming at something in the next level that woman will have an account she will have her own funds or something like what you see in kerala the matriarchal family stri malayala we say so like yeah. they should be empowered not only by the property the bank account but should be able to run the things and if the man has also work let him take it so see now in the yeah. urban areas i think you agree that you your wife or me my wife we have different bank accounts and when yes. money is transferred we are running it uh, independently and not dependent Absolutely. on other to do small small purchases so this yes. level of empowerment has to come in the agri sector also so that is yes. where we talked about this uh, women business potential opportunities okay sir thank you okay thank you yeah and uh, how can businesses create products or services that specifically cater to the needs and preferences of women See now, for example, somebody is running a beauty parlor. See, somebody is now. Now let us take this. You know, in my entrepreneurial group, this herbal cosmetics. It is run by a woman. I forgot her name. I can. I'll send it to you later. See, suppose a food industry. There, suppose a Mambalam Foods. Okay, Adiyar Foods. So we we say Tambram. Tamil Brahmin is called Tambram. So like that. See, some of these industries, paper making, whatever things, they are all done by women only. 
but unfortunately the entrepreneurial money part is taken care by the man so we wish that you know they showed in that one gentleman movie you know they were making so many idea pumps and things like that so now the woman has to be trained in how to write a dpr how to raise a loan how to repay the loan these, these are some of the things still uh, hand holding is missing otherwise in the working they are working as the sir has already told they work 10 times of us but without expecting the remuneration and getting dominated by men so that should occur so the dpr part the marketing part the money handling part then sharing not the credit but the revenues also have to be shared that is not happening nowadays revenues are not shared even in a small labor class okay both of them are laborers okay they may drink together but ultimately it is the husband fellow who beats her up and uh, takes away that money also and drinks this is the height of exploitation i can say <laughs> okay and uh, <clears throat> what are the current trends in women led entrepreneurship and how can aspiring female entrepreneurs capitalize on them see now uh, see a woman is there i have a daughter i think many of you who have daughter the first preference is will get them educated will get them uh, they will go to a job so then there is no much chance to be entrepreneur there see otherwise if they are coming from a business class family or they come from a nice traded family people have uh, yeah. the angel investors about 5 crores you can start a very decent business so uh, now the thinking of the society is you know especially they will say in tamil okay or ponnu irunda first kalyana pannidu illa na avarku or software udyogam kudutidu adu illame if nothing works then only the entrepreneurship has taken a third uh, uh, level but i don't agree but there are many entrepreneurs who have taken entrepreneurship as a first choice a very brilliant business idea they have come but only we have to create this entrepreneurial awareness so many such programs are there uh, people have been creating and lot many people have ventured also i will show you our best art and uh, our business planning development uh, we have so many engineers we have so many women half of them are women so it is only how we create awareness and do hand holding and bring them to the dpr level that's how it works okay yeah and um, are there any specific industries or sectors that show promising opportunities for women owned businesses yeah see uh, i did tell you in this slide of course i had other slide because of paucity of time i didn't show but in the morning lecture i did see the food industry is a very specific domain industry of women see you take ethnic food whether it is chettinad food or it is a tamram food or it is a kuttanad food whatever you can find hundreds of culinary cuisines which are the domination of women so women should take over that first i told you in 2024 that then the apparel industry ethnic dress creation so for example the lambada tribe dress or uh, there is some pochampalli saree or there is this kanjivaram silks so there may be so many ethnic uh, dress and apparels art making all those things it is the woman who has to bring that small art into a big domain and create an entrepreneur opportunities so the, i told you you know especially people who make all those idols in mahabalipuram and all that they belong to one particular sect of people the women are promoted to bring this especially you know in yogi adityanath government in uttar pradesh so many handicrafts which hitherto you had never seen they were all uh, only a tribe used to do one or two pieces today they are all been brought into the main domain they are hand held and put the dpr so today slowly they are commercializing they are all domain of women cosmetics herbal cosmetics then culinary things ethnic foods okay then uh, garam masalas all the spice powders it is only making powder and uh, making different yeah, non veg masala and the veg masala only some different proportion and combination is going to be there all these are the women expertise beauty parlor i told you then um, you know the you were dying of hair so all those things are women domain and uh, only thing is we have to create those uh, detailed project report and uh, give them some ready made uh, feasible proposals for 5 crores 10 crores like that you know we have different uh, investment uh, range 
based on that and based on the risk and capacity they can take we can do it it's absolutely it's available but uh, the next level of uh, digitization customization and uh, commercialization is what is required that will come okay and uh, how can networking and mentorship programs help women entrepreneurs in building successful businesses oh this is the most fantastic question and the most important also see today if you take the fp was the farmer producer organization cbbo cluster based business organization i will give one small example recently somebody wanted this blacks you know this was a order from south korea they wanted uh, black and white sesame so to be exported so when we were browsing here one or two women fp was were dealing with sesame so all this linking export market domestic market local market with specific women entrepreneurs and all that all this can happen with networking only see for example that south korea order is with me because they are my friends but now how people will know who is jairag vendra and where this uh, sesame order is there this is where that networking helps see suppose if all the fpos and all the women entrepreneurs are networked and anybody who gets the message that you know there is a fight on order and immediately who are is going to supply will get the order see this is how the business houses even in whether opanakara street or nadar street this is how people say suppose you don't have a product your neighbor shop may be having but ultimately it should not uh, go away from opanakara street so the business should occur within there that is the watershed so therefore networking helps here very much i can say okay and uh, <clears throat> what role does digital marketing play in reaching and engaging with female consumers oh this is another question because this lecture is coming up on the 5th so and i think uh, that will be our uh, next part that is social media integration for the uh, farmer producer organization so this lecture is coming on 5th i am delivering it to manage and later on i'll deliver to you also see now okay. what we have done is yeah see i'll i'll just tell you roughly see now all the women entrepreneurs and all the farmer producer organization they all have uh, you know stakeholder groups they have all created small small whatsapp groups i think 1000 people are the limitation number i think now whatsapp has made up to 1000 so so whatsapp is the most popular media followed by instagram and whatever whatever so now every now and then i have on i'll tell you how this group operates in the social media somebody wants a product somebody wants to sell a product somebody wants to source a product immediately that is put on the whatsapp believe it uh, that order is cleared in under 3 4 hours it they don't take much time somebody will say yes i have five tons of sesame the other fellow will say i have four tons of uh, ragi malt okay so all this uh, sharing of information is happening see otherwise you know earlier traders they were not sharing information maybe because of uh, the business things you know if i you know vyabharam kurtata i will be under loss that was a very conservative view of the traders but now traders have realized that uh, let anybody get the order let them get the order within my 1000 uh, trader group so that is how people are doing and uh, social media is the number one especially after corona we have learned beautiful lessons today it is all c to c b to b the marketing goes takes place 90% by the social media only 10% by the other channels in spite of having enam and the rems and all that social media is the number one it's happening it's already happening okay and uh, how can how can businesses foster inclusivity and diversity within their teams and leadership to better address women's needs see now after all a business is again a selfish oriented things see how many of us will be interested to share our profits see everyone thinks that you know i should share my profit with myself i don't want to give it so nowadays business models are not thinking like that they want to share their business they want to share their profits okay they will say based on our friendship 
ஓகேடா ஒரு பத்து ரூபாயில் நீ ரெண்டு ரூபாய் வியாபாரம் எடுத்துக்கோ எனக்கு ஒரு த்ரீ ருபீஸ் கொடு நீ ஒன்று அவன் கொஞ்சம் பெரிய ஆள் அவனுக்கு அஞ்சு ரூபாய் கொடு ஸோ லைக் தட் இன் அ பீப்புள் ஆர் கம்மிங் தே ஆர் ஒர்க்கிங் அவுட் மொடாலிட்டிஸ் இட்ஸ் நாட் தட் எவ்ரி ஆர்டர் இவன் தான் பண்ணுவேன்னா அப்படியே ஒன்றும் ரூல் இல்லையே ஸோ பீப்புள் ஆர் டூயிங் ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் இட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் ஹவு தே கம் டுகெதர் அண்ட் ஹாவ் கன்சென்சஸ் திஸ் அரைவிங் அட் கன்சென்சஸ் இஸ் அ மில்லியன் டாலர் கொஸ்டின் பிட்வீன் ட்ரேடர்ஸ் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வை விஸ் யூனோ in bhagavad gita it is told don't mistake me if somebody is from the trader community they say vyaparam droha chintanam that means or vyapari irunda ava koncha ava labham pattana paapa so he is not going to share that vyaparam information with everybody so you know this is how we have to arrive at consensus that's what people are doing also yeah okay and what are some funding options and resources available specifically for women entrepreneurs yeah, yeah i told you i showed you some many schemes you simply go to any sbi branch okay give a phone call to the manager by evening you will have 25 options so including angel investors bootstrappers crowd funding okay if you come to ihr and uh, if you come to our uh, uh, business planning and development ceo is there one dr dhananjaya you sit with him for 5 10 minutes He accepts the idea. Idea also he will give. He wants the entrepreneurs only to take risk. He will arrange the fund. He will arrange the training. He will arrange the DPR. He will arrange the funding source. You need not worry. You have to only visit the particular. Of course, IHR has got one. We have something in IHR. Wherever you want, throughout India, we have all this uh, entrepreneurship cell and all that. They will take care. It's already that ecosystem is available. It's in place. no issues at all yeah okay and uh, how important is market research in identifying niche opportunities for women focused businesses yeah see this is a very <coughs> crucial factor dr sam see now there are two three ways of business philosophies see you know i used to tell my students also you produce a product and then look for a market see that is one approach the second approach is you you check your market and then produce so the third approach is both can go simultaneously so in my opinion see one of my cousin brothers he wanted to have a startup that was some some nanotechnology and uh, this guy is actually a phd from uh, illinois i mean from purdue and is a stanford post doc fellow he is now an associate professor so without seeing the market that fellow thought that he will resign and all that that is not the approach first you study the market market feasibility should be the first study after market feasibility prepare the detailed project report then come with the financial ratios feasibility technical feasibility where to establish the plan and then later on you can visit ihr or any other incubation center then produce your product at a very very small scale a pilot scale okay and then market one or two units and see how it works after that only the question of upscaling comes otherwise immediately nobody should do it and that is a very foolish way of uh, becoming an entrepreneur so such ecosystems are available so before a business takes off for a woman or a man i think a minimum they have to spend one one and a half years on this homework part of it after doing that only they can do it otherwise it's not feasible okay yeah what are some successful examples or of businesses that have effectively tapped into women's market and what lessons can be learned from the their strategies Fine. yeah i will tell you a story of one uh, i don't know her name is kavya or i forgot her she is a tamil girl see now what this lady she is based at coimbatore i i'll share the number with you later she she was running a herbal cosmetic uh, she is an entrepreneur who makes herbal cosmetic you know we put that this one uh, goranti we put it on the hand uh, it becomes red okay the yeah I, I mehendi you are talking about mehendi so mehendi was one then uh, she had got some herbal lipsticks so it was all women product that's why i'm not able to remember so what this lady did was uh, we she is also in our entrepreneurial group she she met me and then she said anna why don't you check so then what we did was we did the same exercise <laughs> See, herbal may be safe, but where is the research finding for that? See, like Patanjali came out with a lot of products, and then you know ultimately they are in the court, uh, you know, apologizing a lot. 
so now or claim pandrathukku see if you want to make a claim in a business okay you should have a lot of uh, uh, you know research behind it so normally ihr and i indian institute of spice research they are the competent people to do research see then you know organoleptic evaluation suppose putting mehendi on your uh, hand or legs what chemical reaction it takes place so all such data research has been done and then slowly slowly she has been releasing it see now if we take the lipstick industry already lakme is there l oreal is there so many brands are there so who will buy this herbal lipstick so now we have to we have not yet done that but the next level is we are going to give this herbal lipstick and see that uh, you know i don't know what because i don't wear a lipstick so a woman must be knowing that uh, how long is it stable how long it can stay or is it going to melt or uh, any reaction can occur all such studies should be done and compare with the uh, you know control like lakme l oreal leading brands okay and then afterwards it should be released in the market so still these studies are going on and the entrepreneurs doing so the lesson here for a women entrepreneur is don't be in a hurry to release don't be in a hurry to invest do the hand holding first write the dpr do pilot study okay test on the consumers and see where is your niche market slowly slowly you have to release it in phases okay this is a very but normally what i have seen the entrepreneurs and startups are they are in a hurry to commercialize so i'll tell you a small hotel example which is very near my house some you know these are kerala fellows i don't know whether kerala people know how to make dosa they may know how to do potto whatever suddenly you know he came out with a big uh, building he said that uh, what is it some kerala dosa house my goodness you know the publicity was more than the actual dosa so actually how you would have started if you had met me i would have told you should start with a small scale do pilot testing of your chutneys or whatever whatever which others are already doing successful people do like this he invested a lot of money initially made a big bank called the local mla released all the dosa believe it or not he closed in a single month so therefore what i suggest is any entrepreneur need not be in a hurry slow and steady wins the race and that too in business i'm telling you not only as a professor of the uh, business management but also as an agriculture guy your hurriness is not going to fetch anything you should be slow and steady maybe it takes one and a half to two years yeah that's a quite a good time to do a, to get a phd we spent so many years to become a scientist we spent so many years whether entrepreneur cannot spend about five years he can spend but he will be putting his uh, uh, you know foot very firmly on the business uh, canvas and that's how we can take Okay. Okay. So uh, there are no more questions. Before we end, I'll check with Mr. Beto once again. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rajni Ma'am. See, this is a slightly deviating question, but still it concerns women. So let me tell you, I have been an agriculture graduate from U.S. Bangalore. When I joined there in 1960s, we had hardly one student, one lady student amongst 300. graduates today if you go around the agriculture colleges and today they are numbering the university itself are numbering about 60 plus there are lakhs of agriculture graduates out of which there are quite a few lakhs of agriculture graduate ladies bsc ags mscs and also phds but unfortunately what i find is their uh, scope for getting jobs is very limited either they have to join the universities or agriculture or horticulture departments but jobs in all these three sectors have gone down drastically so the only option for them is to join private sectors and private sectors mind you especially for marketing sales and advertisement and all that they prefer men unfortunately so women also have shown in that field but still the percentage of women joining such enterprises is very very low i approached the many of the past agriculture university vice chancellors in bangalore out of which three or four are known to me personally but except one or two none of them showed any interest their aim is to only see that the students get their degrees the students are not 
trained in any of the skill sets. Even MSCs, they come out without any skill sets. And they don't know how to, even some of them are lacking the basic uh, uh, facilities of even writing their resumes. So this has to be addressed on a very strong footing because the women, agriculture graduates, postgraduates, and even doctorates are highly knowledgeable. But only thing that require a little push. This is something which has to be addressed very, very urgently. Yeah, I, I have a little uh, take on what Dr. Uh, Mr. Brito is saying. See, it is not only that there is no will from the student side. Sir. The will may be there, but they don't see a business opportunity there. See, I'll tell you, I'll give a simple example. See, suppose, yes. you know, if it is a nanotechnology based uh, mobile phone, where the battery life is going to be extended minimum for 300, and 300 days. See, now you know you have to recharge your battery at least every two days once. So one yes. of my cousins is working on this particular thing to have a, a mobile battery which need not want any charging. It is self-charging by using some carbon nanoparticles. So this is a startup which is coming. So if the idea is very brilliant, if the profit is assured, see that is what we will be showing you during the hand-holding and at the time of writing the detailed project report and at the pilot scale. See, many of the incubators who are come here, we will first give the technology, make the production and marketing on a pilot scale. See, many people don't go to the actual upscaling at all. Why they don't go? They see that it is no longer feasible to upscale the technology. It is, it is very yeah. good only at the pilot scale and as a technology, it is a bookish technology and it may not fetch profits. Suppose something you bring like an Apple phone or an Android phone with a 5G or some technological things and if people see money, they will venture. It is not that people don't have the will. People don't see business in that. So suppose a small hotel, I'll tell you, where the hotel, your dish may be very good, but there the location matters. Where you are, are you going to put it in Thambaram or are you going to put it in near uh, Chennai Central Railway Station, Sharvana Bhavan or whatever it is. So some business decisions, if you see money, people will come. If they don't see money, they stop at the pilot scale itself. This is my take on this, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ms. Madhuri? Yeah, she's not asking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all. No, I thought uh, we don't have any questions. Some good Thank you. Yeah, she's, she's, a, she's speaking now. Okay. Uh, no, uh, I was saying, uh, I was listening to everything. Yeah, I, uh, I don't have any questions. But thank you so much for... Uh, Okay. Sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. So now we have come to end of question round on behalf of agricultureinformation.com. We'd like to thank you for a very detailed presentation and very interesting as every time. And we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting. The meeting will now be closed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll thank you. catch you again. Anyway, the next thank topic you, is already decided. Social media marketing with the FPOs. You can hear my lecture on 5th. And later on, when agree information also will give you some time. Thank you. So okay. Where can we he hear your uh, lecture, sir? Any, yeah, yeah, anyway, on, on online? Fifth, uh, I will get the link. This is actually a link for man, uh, man Naram. Okay. There's a specialized yeah. training on FPO. I will share the link with you. Maybe tomorrow or after they will send the link. I will share it with you. Ma. Okay. No Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Shall you, I leave the meeting? Yeah. Sure. Sure, sir. Yeah. Thank you. In samosa etakam man butra. Oh, you're a little bit of 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 a little bit